Welcome to Display Ads to Info. Um, I've been using Azoic for around 22 months at the time of recording this. Um, we've got a written review uh, which runs through everything uh, that we want, kind of want to share about our experience with Azoic and how it's worked out for us. But realistically, you're here to have a look at the figures. So um, over the last 22 months, we've managed to uh, record $165,000 worth of ad revenue which um, add earnings, which is pretty crazy when you when you look at it. So we started, um, you know, what, what we're doing, $20, $20 a day, $30 a day. Um, and I remember at the time I was like, oh, this is, this is pretty good. I can understand how this works. And then over time we reinvested in content, all that early money. Basically we um, built a team of writers. We continued to uh, do keyword research, create content. Um, a lot of people talk about um, kind of being uh, locked in like a, a test mode of Google, kind of a sandbox, and then all of a sudden, bang, you know, within a couple of days, we went from doing, well, $40 to $140, um, $200 in, within a month, uh, just overnight. So I think there was a Google algorithm change here or how we interpret, interpreted our test site changed. And then this is when things really got interesting. At this point, um, ad revenue for the month was probably around six, seven thousand dollars, or five, six thousand dollars, I think it was. And then I could actually uh, invest heavily in content, invest more in content, keep writing, keep writing. And then that gave us the opportunity to rank for more and more keywords, um, and then to get more and more traffic. And things over time have grown, grown, grown. And then you can see where we're at now. We're kind of at, you know, we hit over this. $500 a day mark um, and we're kind of staying above that now so things are things are really good um, we've documented our journey of uh, ad revenue reports um, and the growth over time just quickly looking at this you can see February we're at $12,000 for the month and then July $19,000 so it's, it's a big big jump um, Azoic has worked really well for us um, in that point of view so um, the ad revenue that we've been able to achieve has been pretty good. Um, we are part of the ad program as well, the premium program. Um, this is the earnings that we've got received just from the premium program, so $38,000. Um, uh, we have AdSense mediation turned on. You can see that we received $9,700 from having that turned on. So both of these are worthwhile. We can't lose money on either of them. I'd recommend that you turn them on straight away. Your ad earnings will increase. Um, just looking at big data analytics as well, um, you can see here um, pretty much the same information basically but shown slightly differently. So you see uh, it's just a single line for the top level daily ad revenue. But let's, and you can see down there, 165,000, um, 5 million, 5.2 million, million page views that we've put through Azoic. And if we look at the page view growth here as well, it should kind of mimic exactly what we've seen there. So from being able to go from using AdSense to using the Zoic and start to earn more per page views, we've actually been able to invest that and grow the website. So it's a single reason that we've been able to grow it basically. Um, so let's just get a couple of steer pointers from um, from the article. So kind of what are the benefits of choosing the Zoic? So Zoic is kind of good in many ways because it allows you to get on with a, a lower um, lower amount of traffic so you can start as though we're pretty much nothing today basically it did used to be 10,000 but you can start with with pretty much no traffic which is allows you to get on there start earning start investing in your business start building content to show ads so that really helps um, the returns are actually pretty good from what I've seen and once you've been able to spend some time with it and collect data and understand what your website can return then you know what you should be spending on content um, does as it work really well um, well, looking at what we've done, I think it's worked well for us. If you watch our EPMVs grow, um, actually this might be a good view to get here. Um, EPMV over time. So what we're looking at, the EPMV is basically the earnings per thousand page views basically. Um, well, per thousand visits. So $20 we pretty much started at, dropped down. I think there was a mistake I made there. But um, then over time, it eventually just grew. And now you can see that our earnings per thousand visits are about $40, which is actually a really good return. 
Um, did spike? Oh, that was December there. So seasonality took that a little bit higher. Um, but yeah, so on average, all year we've been doing pretty good, apart from a little bit of a drop in January, which is as expected. Um, that's been really good. We've documented just this in a different view here, so you can see all our monthly earnings, all our monthly EPMVs, monthly traffic, etc. Um, you know, you've seen from the video there exactly what we have been earning. Um, daily ad revenue, the growth there has been good. EPMV, as I say, um, we're getting a really good result with that. Having AdSense mediation is just a good tool, so it allows you to earn the maximum amount from those ad placements, which is really useful. Um, ad optimization, um, we well, have spent a fair bit of time uh, tweaking ad placements and making improvements to Azoic as it's gone forward and you can see that we're getting the benefits from that now so um, you can do as much or as little as you want with it but it's kind of customizable so whatever you if you want to get more ads in place you can if you want a better user experience you can do that as well um, it does Azoic does come with uh, speed speed tool a performance tool as well which has got a CDM built in and caching enabled I just want to stress this as well. So, if you look at the EPM, well, the RPMs, they're a cash miss compared to a cash hit. You can see it's almost double for having the cash enabled. Your um, RPMs or EPMV will increase significantly. So, if you haven't got that cash enabled and you're currently using Azoic, I'd make sure you turn it on. You'll find your ad revenues increase. Um, we've been building long form content. You can see from the report in here that all of our traffic is basically going to the longer articles that we've got. Um, and is it worth it? So the premium program, uh, you do have to pay to be part of the premium program. You can see that we've made significant earnings from it there. Basically, you have to pay up front, then you accrue ad revenue for that month, and then it gets paid out a month later. Um, but it's kind of broken down into three sections. So the, the kind of basic Azoic ad partners set up, the mediation side, and then the premium side. It's invite only, um, but if you're invited, pay it, sign up to it you will earn more money um, and then yeah so is it good for a small small publisher a big publisher the answer kind of is it's good for everything if you're a small publisher great there's no other better place to go you can use AdSense but the RPMs aren't great you can get onto a Zoic you'll, you'll get a good return chances are you know you could move over to AdThrive or Mediavine but um, also you could be earning better results with a Zoic as well they have a 25% ad revenue guarantee so if you move from Ad Thrive to Azoic and earn um, and don't earn as much, they'll uh, they'll pay the difference and they'll pay you an extra twenty five percent as well. So um, you know you can move to the platform with confidence. There is the speed side of it, where there's a whole optimization tool which looks on how to improve for your um, your core web vitals. Um, so that is there. I haven't had great results with it, but I've got a lot of the stuff turned on. I'm getting some benefits of it, but also I've got complications of running an old theme, etc. So uh, it's not, you know, it's not it's not the best use case for it in my scenario, but I am using it. Big Data Analytics is basically Google Analytics, um, but it's its own version of it. So all different types of things you can look at. I'm not going to run through this right now, but it's a very useful tool for having your um, page views as an example and your financial data are all in one, pay, one place. Uh, you can control your ads as well if you want more or less ads on different devices etc you can do that. Uh, ad charity as well this is a good good, um, good little uh, feature so there's ad placements where sometimes people bid for ad placements your winner um, wins, wins that ad placement but never actually delivers the ad so in some cases that leads a blank place on your website, but you can choose to fill it with a, a charity focused ad. So just a nice little touch. Um, I'm not too sure how many ad providers do that, but it's a good little touch. As I do have a video player where they'll free, freely host your videos and then you can put ads on them as well. So think of it as your own kind of personal YouTube with a better return on ad revenue for yourself. Um, and they also do have free um, web hosting as well. So if you don't have web hosting or you just want free web hosting as I do that for you. Um, so overall, the performance, I mean, you know, we'll let the numbers speak for themselves. I've been happy with this, 165,000 in ad revenue. Um, and as you can see, most of it has been from June last year. So basically in the last uh, 13 months there. So uh, I have been happy with it. I'm gonna to continue to grow. I'm gonna continue investing in content um, and yeah, 
we've, we've got lots of information, uh, even more than one I've gone through this video, written in just our review article itself. If you're interested to look at our revenue reports and our case study, go to Display as the Info and have a look at that. And also, if you want to ask me a question, just go to our Ask Me Anything section, uh, write your question there, and I'll, I'll give you the best answer I can as soon as I can. Okay, and that's all for now. Thanks for watching.